Norwegian language, Wikipedia article audio. No A Euro inclusive code, individual codes, NBA Euro Bukma Yenel. History Origins Advent of Christianity Dano-Norwegian Danish to Norwegian Phonology Consonants Vowels Accent Written language Alphabet Bukma Yenel and Nynorsk Riksmajenel Hanorsk Current usage Dialects Examples Morphology Nouns Adjectives Verbs Pronouns Determiners Particle classes Compound words Vocabulary Nor a Euro inclusive code, individual codes, Nob a Euro Bukma Yenel Norwegian is a North Germanic language spoken mainly in Norway, where it is the official language. Along with Swedish and Danish, Norwegian forms a dialect continuum of more or less mutually intelligible local and regional variants. Bibliography These Scandinavian languages, together with Faroese and Icelandic as well as some extinct languages, constitute the North Germanic languages. Faroese and Icelandic are hardly mutually intelligible with Norwegian in their spoken form because continental Scandinavian has diverged from them. As established by law and governmental policy, the two official forms of written Norwegian are Bukma Yenel and Nynorsk. The official Norwegian Language Council is responsible for regulating the two forms, and recommends the terms Norwegian Bukma Yenel and Norwegian Nynorsk in English. Two other written forms without official status also exist, one, called Riksma Yenel, is today to a large extent the same language as Bukma Yenel though somewhat closer to the Danish language. It is regulated by the unofficial Norwegian Academy, which translates the name as Standard Norwegian. The other is Ha Norsk, a more purist form of Nynorsk, which maintains the language in an original form as given by Ivar Asen and rejects most of the reforms from the 20th century. This form has limited use. Nynorsk and Bukma Yenel provide standards for how to write Norwegian, but not for how to speak the language. No standard of spoken Norwegian is officially sanctioned and most Norwegians speak their own dialects in all circumstances. Thus, unlike in many other countries, the use of any Norwegian dialect, whether it coincides with the written norms or not, is accepted as correct spoken Norwegian. However, in areas where East Norwegian dialects are used, a tendency exists to accept a de facto spoken standard for this particular regional dialect, Urban East Norwegian or Standard East Norwegian, in which the vocabulary coincides with Bukma Yenel. Outside Eastern Norway, this spoken variation is not used. From the 16th to the 19th centuries, Danish was the standard written language of Norway. As a result, the development of modern written Norwegian has been subject to strong controversy related to nationalism, rural versus urban discourse, and Norway's literary history. Historically, Bukma Yenel is a Norwegianist variety of Danish, while Nynorsk is a language form based on Norwegian dialects and puristic opposition to Danish. The now abandoned official policy to merge Bukma Yenel and Nynorsk into one common language called Simnorsk through a series of spelling reforms has created a wide spectrum of varieties of both Bukma Yenel and Nynorsk. 
The unofficial form known as Rixma Yenel is considered more conservative than Bukma Yenel, and the unofficial Ha Norsk more conservative than Ni Norsk. Norwegians are educated in both Bukma Yenel and Ni Norsk. A 2005 poll indicates that 86.3% use primarily Bukma Yenel as their daily written language, 5.5% use both Bukma Yenel and Ni Norsk and 7.5% use primarily Nynorsk. Thus, 13% are frequently writing Nynorsk, though the majority speak dialects that resemble Nynorsk more closely than Bukma Yenel. Broadly speaking, Nynorsk writing is widespread in western Norway, though not in major urban areas, and also in the upper parts of mountain valleys in the southern and eastern parts of Norway. Examples are Seedstal, the western part of Telemark County and several municipalities in Hallingdal, Valdres, and Gudbrandstalen. It is little used elsewhere, but 30 euro 40 years ago, it also had strongholds in many rural parts of Traendelag and the southern part of northern Norway. Today, not only is Nynorsk the official language of four of the 19 Norwegian counties, but also of many municipalities in five other counties. NRK, the Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation, broadcasts in both Bukma Yenel and Nynorsk, and all governmental agencies are required to support both written languages. Bukma Yenel is used in 92% of all written publications and Nynorsk in 8%. Norwegian is one of the working languages of the Nordic Council. Under the Nordic Language Convention, citizens of the Nordic countries who speak Norwegian have the opportunity to use their native language when interacting with official bodies in other Nordic countries without being liable to any interpretation or translation costs. Norwegian is one of the two official languages in Norway. The other is Sami, spoken by some members of the Sami people, mostly in the northern part of Norway. Norwegian and Sami are not mutually intelligible, as Sami belongs to the Finno-Ugric group of languages. Sami is spoken by less than 1% of people in Norway. Like most of the languages in Europe, the Norwegian language descends from the Proto-Indo-European language spoken about 5,500 years ago on the Pontica Euro-Caspian steppe north of the Black Sea. As early Indo-Europeans spread across Europe, they became isolated and new languages evolved. In the northwest of Europe, the West Germanic languages evolved, which would eventually become English, Dutch, German, and the Scandinavian languages, of which Norwegian is one. Proto-Norse is thought to have evolved as a northern dialect of Proto-Germanic during the first centuries AD. It is the earliest stage of a characteristically North Germanic language, and the language attested in the Elder Futhark inscriptions, the oldest form of the runic alphabets. A number of inscriptions are memorials to the dead, while others are magical in content. The oldest are carved on loose objects, while later ones are chiseled in rune stones. They are the oldest written record of any Germanic language. Around 800 AD, the script was simplified to the younger Futhark, and inscriptions became more abundant. At the same time, the beginning of the Viking Age led to the spread of Old Norse to Iceland, Greenland, and the Faroe Islands. Viking colonies also existed in parts of the British Isles, France, and Russia. In all of these places except Iceland and the Faroes, Old Norse speakers went extinct or were absorbed into the local population. Around 1030, Christianity came to Scandinavia bringing with it the Latin script. The Scandinavian languages at this time are not considered to be separate languages, 
although there were minor differences among what are customarily called Old Icelandic, Old Norwegian, Old Gutnish, Old Danish, and Old Swedish. New words began to enter the language from the church. Because of the economic dominance of the Hanseatic League between 1250 and 1450, the main Scandinavian cities had large Middle Low German-speaking populations. The influence of their language on Scandinavian is similar to that of French on English after the Norman conquest. In the late Middle Ages, Dialects began to develop in Scandinavia because population was rural and little travel occurred. When the Reformation came from Germany, Martin Luther's high German translation of the Bible was quickly translated into Swedish, Danish, and Icelandic. Norway entered a union with Denmark in 1397. Danish was the language of the elite, the church, literature, and the law. When the union with Denmark ended in 1814, the Dano-Norwegian Koina copyright had become the mother tongue of many Norwegians. From the 1840s, some writers experimented with a Norwegianist Danish by incorporating words that were descriptive of Norwegian scenery and folk life, and adopting a more Norwegian syntax. Knud Knudsen proposed to change spelling and inflection in accordance with the Dano-Norwegian Koina copyright, known as cultivated everyday speech. A small adjustment in this direction was implemented in the first official reform of the Danish language in Norway in 1862 and more extensively after his death in two official reforms in 1907 and 1917. Meanwhile, a nationalistic movement strove for the development of a new written Norwegian. Ivar Åsen, a botanist and self-taught linguist, began his work to create a new Norwegian language at the age of 22. He travelled around the country collecting words and examples of grammar from the dialects and comparing the dialects among the different regions. He examined the development of Icelandic which had largely escaped the influences under which Norwegian had come. He called his work, which was published in several books from 1848 to 1873, Lantsmjenel, meaning national language. The name Lantsmjenel is sometimes interpreted as rural language or country language, but this was clearly not Åsen's intended meaning. The name of the Danish language in Norway was a topic of hot dispute through the 19th century. Its proponents claimed that it was a language common to Norway and Denmark, and no more Danish than Norwegian. The proponents of Lantsmjenel thought that the Danish character of the language should not be concealed. In 1899, Jarnst Jern Jarnson proposed the neutral name Riksmjenel meaning national language like Lantsmjenel, and this was officially adopted along with the 1907 spelling reform. The name Riksmjenel is sometimes interpreted as state language, but this meaning is secondary at best. After the personal union with Sweden was dissolved in 1905, both languages were developed further and reached what is now considered their classic forms after a reform in 1917. Riksmjenel was in 1929 officially renamed Bukmjenel, and Lantsmjenel to Norsk. A proposition to substitute Danish-Norwegian for Bukmjenel lost in Parliament by a single vote. The name Nynorsk, the linguistic term for modern Norwegian, was chosen for contrast to Danish and emphasis on the historical connection to Old Norwegian. Today, this meaning is often lost, and it is commonly mistaken as a new Norwegian in contrast to the real Norwegian Bukmjenel. Bukmjenel and Nynorsk were made closer by a reform in 1938. 
This was a result of a state policy to merge Nynorsk and Bukmayanel into a single language, to be called Samnorsk. A 1946 poll showed that this policy was supported by 79% of Norwegians at the time. However, opponents of the official policy still managed to create a massive protest movement against Samnorsk in the 1950s fighting in particular the use of radical forms in Bukmayanel textbooks in schools. In the reform in 1959, the 1938 reform was partially reversed in Bukmayanel, but Nynorsk was changed further towards Bukmayanel. Since then Bukmayanel has reverted even further toward traditional Riksmayanel, while Nynorsk still adheres to the 1959 standard. Therefore, a small minority of Nynorsk enthusiasts uses a more conservative standard called Ha Norsk. The Samnorsk policy had little influence after 1960, and was officially abandoned in 2002. While the sound systems of Norwegian and Swedish are similar, considerable variation exists among the dialects. The red reflex consonants only appear in East Norwegian dialects as a result of sandy, combining slash e three fourth slash with slash d slash, slash l slash, slash n slash, slash s slash, and slash t slash. The realization of the rhotic slash e three fourth slash depends on the dialect. In Eastern, Central, and Northern Norwegian dialects, it is a tap, whereas in Western and Southern Norway, and for some speakers also in Eastern Norway, it is rendered more gutturally as or. And in the dialects of Northwestern Norway, it is realized as, much like the trilled R of Spanish. Norwegian is a pitch accent language with two distinct pitch patterns like Swedish. They are used to differentiate two-syllable words with otherwise identical pronunciation. For example, in many East Norwegian dialects, the word Bander is pronounced using tone 1, while Bainer uses tone 2. Though spelling differences occasionally differentiate written words, in most cases the minimal pairs are written alike since written Norwegian has no explicit accent marks. In most Eastern low-tone dialects, accent 1 uses a low flat pitch in the first syllable, while accent 2 uses a high, sharply falling pitch in the first syllable and a low pitch in the beginning of the second syllable. In both accents, these pitch movements are followed by a rise of intonational nature a euro the size of which signals emphasis or focus, and corresponds in function to the normal accent in languages that lack lexical tone, such as English. That rise culminates in the final syllable of an accentual phrase, while the utterance final fall common in most languages is either very small or absent. There are significant variations in pitch accent between dialects. Thus, in most of Western and Northern Norway accent 1 is falling, while accent 2 is rising in the first syllable and falling in the second syllable or somewhere around the syllable boundary. The pitch accents give the Norwegian language a singing quality that makes it easy to distinguish from other languages. Interestingly, Accent 1 generally occurs in words that were monosyllabic in Old Norse, and accent 2 in words that were polysyllabic. The Norwegian alphabet has 29 letters. The letters C, Q, W, X, and Z are only used in loan words. As loan words are assimilated into Norwegian, their spelling might change to reflect Norwegian pronunciation and the principles of Norwegian orthography, e.g. zebra in Norwegian is written spray. Due to historical reasons, some otherwise Norwegian family names are also written using these letters. Some letters may be modified by diacritics, a copyright, a, a, a superscript 3, a superscript 2, and a. 
In Nynorsk, A and A superscript 1 and A superscript 3 are occasionally seen as well. The diacritics are not compulsory, but may in a few cases distinguish between different meanings of the word, e.g., for, fa superscript 3r, fa superscript 2r and fa r. Loan words may be spelled with other diacritics, most notably a one-fourth, a and a. Like some other European countries, Norway has an official advisory board a euros per yen kra yen debt a euro that determines, after approval from the Ministry of Culture, official spelling, grammar, and vocabulary for the Norwegian language. The board's work has been subject to considerable controversy throughout the years. Both Nynorsk and Bukma Yenel have a great variety of optional forms. The Bukma Yenel that uses the forms that are close to Riksma Yenel is called moderate or conservative, depending on one's viewpoint, while the Bukma Yenel that uses the forms that are close to Nynorsk is called radical. Nynorsk has forms that are close to the original Lantsma Yenel and forms that are close to Bukma Yenel. Terasta R instead of Terasita R, Tunfusk Biter instead of Tunfusk Biter, Small Ringer instead of Small Tringer, Tiviri Secret instead of Tivira Secret, Stecked Keeling Lever instead of Stecked Keeling Lever, SMAR Brady instead of SMAR Brady, Clip Fisk instead of Clip Fisk, Pa Yen Hit Taket instead of Pa Yen Hit Taket, Alt for Norge instead of Alt for Norge. Stave control or stave control, coke bock or coke bock, ekt ha yen and lagd vaffler or ekt ha yen and de lagd vaffler. Opponents of the spelling reforms aimed at bringing Bukma Yenel closer to Nynorsk have retained the name Riksma Yenel and employ spelling and grammar that predate the Simnorsk movement. Riksma Yenel and conservative versions of Bukma Yenel have been the de facto standard written language of Norway for most of the 20th century, being used by large newspapers, encyclopedias, and a significant proportion of the population of the capital Oslo, surrounding areas, and other urban areas, as well as much of the literary tradition. Since the reforms of 1981 and 2003, the official Bukma Yenel can be adapted to be almost identical with modern Riksma Yenel. The differences between written Riksma Yenel and Bukma Yenel are comparable to American and British English differences. Riksma Yenel is regulated by the Norwegian Academy, which determines acceptable spelling, grammar, and vocabulary. There is also an unofficial form of Nynorsk, called Ha Norsk discarding the post-1917 reforms, and thus close to Ivar Asen's original Lantsma Yenel. It is supported by Ivar Asen Sambandet, but has found no widespread use. In 2010 86.5% of the pupils in the primary and lower secondary schools in Norway receive education in Bukma Yenel while 13.0% receive education in Nynorsk. From the 8th grade onwards pupils are required to learn both. Out of the 431 municipalities in Norway, 161 have declared that they wish to communicate with the central authorities in Bukma Yenel, 116 in Nynorsk, while 156 are neutral. Of 4,549 state publications in 2008% were in Nynorsk, and 92% in Bukma Yenel. The large national newspapers are published in Bukma Yenel or Riksma Yenel. Some major regional newspapers, many political journals, and many local newspapers use both Bukma Yenel and Nynorsk. A newer trend is to write in dialect for informal use. When writing in SMS, Facebook update, or fridge note, most younger people write the way they talk rather than using Bukma Yenel or Nynorsk.
there is general agreement that a wide range of differences makes it difficult to estimate the number of different Norwegian dialects. Variations in grammar, syntax, vocabulary, and pronunciation cut across geographical boundaries and can create a distinct dialect at the level of farm clusters. Dialects are in some cases so dissimilar as to be unintelligible to unfamiliar listeners. Many linguists note a trend toward regionalization of dialects that diminishes the differences at such local levels. There is, however, a renewed interest in preserving distinct dialects. Below are a few sentences giving an indication of the differences between Bukmajenel and Nynorsk, compared to the conservative form Riksmajenel, Danish, as well as Old Norse, Swedish, Faroese, Icelandic, Old English and some modern West Germanic languages. Norwegian nouns are inflected or declined in definiteness and number. In some dialects, definite nouns are furthermore declined in case. As in most Indo-European languages, nouns are classified by gender, which has consequences for the declension of agreeing adjectives and determiners. Norwegian has three genders, masculine, feminine, and neuter a euro except the Bergen dialect, which has only two genders, common and neuter. Riksmajenel and conservative Bukmajenel traditionally have two genders like Danish, but Nynorsk and many Norwegian regional dialects have three genders. The declension of regular nouns depends on gender. Some dialects and variants of Nynorsk furthermore have different declension of weak and strong feminines and neuters. As of June 5, 2005, all feminine nouns could once again be written as masculine nouns in Bukma Yenel, giving the option of writing the language with only two genders a euro common and neuter. Note that most masculine nouns with er plurals, may also be realized with AR plurals. Likewise, feminine nouns with AR plurals that do not end in ing, often are seen with ER endings. These two declensions are by far the most common. Also note that weak neuter nouns like AGA N also are regularly seen declined like RIG N, AG A Euro AGIT A Euro AG A Euro AGA. Norwegian adjectives have two inflectional paradigms. The weak inflection is applicable when the argument is definite, the strong inflection is used when the argument is indefinite. In both paradigms the adjective is declined in comparison. Strong, positive adjectives are furthermore declined in gender and number in agreement with their argument. In some southwestern dialects, the weak positive is also declined in gender and number, with one form for feminine and plural, and one form for masculine and neuter. In Norwegian, a definite noun has a suffixed article. It is noteworthy, however, that when a definitive noun is preceded by an adjective, an additional definite article is placed in front of the adjective, thus producing double definiteness. Example of weak positive inflection in Nynorsk, Huset a euro det grane huset. Examples of weak positive inflection in Bukma Yenel, det gra north northeast huset, den gra north northeast bilan, or det hvite hus. Whenever the noun is preceded by a pronoun, the suffix is always dropped, mit gra north northeast hus. Men gra north northeast bil. Note, however, the more common phrasing of these sentiments, det gra north northeast huset mit, den gra north northeast bilan min. Examples of strong positive inflection in bukma yenel, et grant hus, and gran bil, likewise grant lis. Grannbil if no article is used. Examples of comparative and superlative inflections in Bukma Yenel, 
et hvitir hus, den gra nest bilan, hvitir hus, gra nest bil. Norwegian finite verbs are inflected or conjugated according to mood, indicative slash imperative slash subjunctive. The subjunctive mood is constrained to only a handful of verbs. Indicative verbs are conjugated for tense, present slash past slash future. The infinitive, present and past tense also have a passive form. In a few dialects, indicative verbs are also conjugated according to number. Agreement with person is lost in Norwegian. There are four non-finite verb forms, infinitive, passive infinitive, and the two participles perfective slash past participle and imperfective slash present participle. The participles are verbal adjectives. The imperfective participle is not declined, whereas the perfect participle is declined for gender and number like strong, positive adjectives. The definite form of the participle is identical to the plural form. As with other Germanic languages, Norwegian verbs can be either weak or strong. Norwegian personal pronouns are declined according to case, nominative slash accusative. Some of the dialects that have preserved the dative in nouns, also have a dative case instead of the accusative case in personal pronouns, while others have accusative in pronouns and dative in nouns, effectively giving these dialects three distinct cases. In the most comprehensive Norwegian grammar, Norsk reference grammatic, the categorization of personal pronouns by person, gender, and number is not regarded as inflection. As with nouns, adjectives must agree with the gender and number of pronoun arguments. Other pronouns have no inflection. The so-called possessive, demonstrative, and relative pronouns are no longer considered pronouns. Pronouns are a closed class. Bukma Yenel, like English, has two sets of third-person pronouns. Han and Hun refer to male and female individuals respectively, Den and Det refer to impersonal or inanimate nouns, of masculine-slash-feminine or neutral gender respectively. In contrast, Nynorsk and most dialects use the same set of pronouns. Ho and Det for both personal and impersonal references. Det also has expletive and cataphoric uses like in the English examples it rains and it was known by everyone he had travelled the world. The closed class of Norwegian determiners are declined in gender and number in agreement with their argument. Not all determiners are inflected. Norwegian has five closed classes without inflection i.e. lexical categories with grammatical function and a finite number of members that may not be distinguished by morphological criteria. These are interjections, conjunctions, subjunctions, prepositions, and adverbs. The inclusion of adverbs here requires that traditional adverbs that are inflected in comparison be classified as adjectives, as is sometimes done. In Norwegian compound words, the head, i.e. the part determining the compound's class, is the last part. Only the first part has primary stress. For instance, the compound tenketonk has primary stress on the first syllable and is a noun. Compound words are written together in Norwegian, which can cause words to become very long. For example, sunsen liets maximering sestimeter and meneskaretiet sorganisus joner. Another example is the title ha yesterit's justicerius. Note also the translation and midsommernatstra m. If they are not written together, each part is naturally read with primary stress, and the meaning of the compound is lost. Examples of this in English are the difference between a greenhouse and a greenhouse or a blackboard and a blackboard. This is sometimes forgotten, 
occasionally with humorous results. Instead of writing, for example, Lamekid a letter, people make the mistake of writing Lam coat letter. The original message can even be reversed, as when Araik frit becomes Rayk frit. Other examples include These misunderstandings occur because most nouns can be interpreted as verbs or other types of words. Similar misunderstandings can be achieved in English too. The following are examples of phrases that both in Norwegian and English mean one thing as a compound word, and something different when regarded as separate words. By far the largest part of the modern vocabulary of Norwegian dates back to Old Norse. The largest source of loanwords is Middle Low German, which had a huge influence on Norwegian vocabulary from the late Middle Ages onwards partially even influencing grammatical structures, such as genitive constructions. At present, the main source of new loanwords is English e.g. wrapper, email, catering, juice, bag. Some loanwords have their spelling changed to reflect Norwegian pronunciation rules, but in general Norwegianist spellings of these words tend to take a long time to sink in, e.g. sjanfar and ravansj are now the common Norwegian spellings, but juice is more often used than the Norwegianist form muse, catering more often than ketering, service more often than service, etc. Norwegian has also and continues to borrow words and phrases from both Danish and Swedish to a relatively large extent. And though there are very often related, similar, or identical sounding words in those languages, the spelling in Norwegian is often less conservative and, arguably, closer to the pronunciation, and thus different from the others and four of the letters most shunned in Norwegian in comparison to the other Scandinavian languages are C, D, J, and X. Norwegian hay is hedge in Swedish and Danish, the words sex and six are sex and seeks in Norwegian, but in Swedish they are both sex, Danish words ending in chen end in chen to reflect pronunciation and many traditional Danish spellings with D preceded by another consonant are changed to double consonants, such as in the Danish for water, vand, versus Norwegian spelling van, but sand is spelled sand in both languages.